Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week is a special one. I just spent five days in Cornwall camping at a festival and that festival was... Basically, I'm just gonna tell you how it went. So today is the Tuesday after the festival. I literally got back yesterday at two o'clock in the afternoon. We spent the whole day on the train basically and I am exhausted. I had a really nice sleep in my bed last night though, so I'm kind of refreshed, but not really, as you can tell from the croak going on here. I feel like it's kind of mysterious. No, what's the word? Husky? No, that's a dog. Croaky? No, anyway, let's just get started. I'm gonna split this up into a few different categories so I can make a full, well-rounded and balanced review of this festival. So I'm gonna talk about the acts, I'm gonna talk about food, um, I'm gonna talk about the camping element, I'm going to talk about value for money because oh, this was not cheap, let me tell you now. And I'm also gonna talk about travel because as you may or may not know, Board Melsters is in Cornwall. And Cornwall is far from everything, unless you live in Cornwall. So we're going to actually kick things off and start by talking about the travel, because that's the first thing that you have to do, is get there. So my friend Isha and I, we took a direct train to Newquay Station in Cornwall. Now, this train was about five hours, and to be honest, it's not bad. On the way there, we got first class because it was actually cheaper for some reason than um, standard. So we were living it up in first class. We started off living life in a bit of luxury. We had a great time on that train. We slept, we slept a lot because what else is there to do? To be honest, I think the one thing I'd say is book your trains early because that's how we managed to get good deals on trains and actually managed to reserve our seats. Some people left it really late and that meant that they didn't have reserved seats so they were basically foraging around in the train as it was moving to try and find places to sit which just adds to the stress so as far back as you can plan it but it just made a huge difference because then we had set seats and actually we managed to get into first class so what a bonus so once you get to Newquay, uh, Boardmasters Festival is just a short shuttle ride away and they sort of organise these crazy like shuttles that come every five minutes basically because there are so many people coming to Cornwall that weekend aren't there because I think the festival capacity is like 53,000 but we were talking about this and imagine Glastonbury is 200,000 people Boardmasters was 53,000 anyway um, and you kind of come in and out of Newquay because Newquay is actually a really, really nice place. Um, obviously it's Cornwall, beaches, um, the sea and sometimes sun. We were actually got quite lucky with the weather and we managed to get there when there was um, quite a bit of sun. So we had one beach day which was really, really nice and um, we managed to make the most of it in that sense. I'm going to talk about camping next because this is a huge part of this festival. It is five days camping. That's a long time to be camping, I can't lie. I, I'm not complaining because, mm, am I complaining? I'm not complaining, I won't complain. I think we made the most of it because we had um, one of our friends, so we, there were four of us camping in our tent, and one of our friends brought their tent that they had, which was actually a five people tent, so we were kind of living it up in a five person tent for four people, and also we're four girls. So we're not like taking up masses of room, we're also not crazy messy, so we actually, we were living it up a little bit but that really made the difference to be honest because a we didn't have to pay for a new tent and b that meant that we didn't leave the tent at the festival but it was very rainy when we did pitch our tent and it was just huge winds so it wasn't very well done on top of it there were so many tents in the campsite and there were so many campsites full stop uh, we got into one of the best campsites which was really close to the arena which meant that when we were kind of wanting to go back um from acts and things it, we didn't have to trek a million miles to go back and actually i would say the camping experience wasn't that bad for me personally because i can kind of sleep anywhere although i will say i have bruises all down my leg like all here it is sore like i am it hurts to touch because of the hardness of the floor i had a roll mat down i had a blanket down that will not save you you will just have to firm it like just pop a few paracetamol every day and you know the pain will be bearable but honest to god my bed right now is 
I was so happy to sleep last night in a bed that's not rock solid, like the ground. To be fair, we, we had a good experience camping. Um, we were all pretty tidy. Okay, so the one thing about camping and probably the worst bit about the festival, and to be honest, I don't think it's necessarily like a board masters thing. I think it is just festivals in general. The toilets are absolutely vile. Like I can't stress this enough. They're disgusting. There is a different breed of human for some reason at festivals. Well, we all know what reason it is. But these people lose their brains. They, uh, <laughs> it was so disgusting. Like, I can't even stress. Um, to be fair, I think we kind of missed out on um, potentially a nicer experience because um, you could have paid for like a toilet upgrade type thing, which is basically you pay 40 pounds before you get there and um, you get access to like VIP toilets essentially. And to be honest, I don't know whether the 40 pounds is worth it, but no, it's definitely worth it. hundred percent worth it. I would do it next time. If there's a next time, just pay pay the extra. You'll be, you'll honestly, you'll, it'll be so worth it oh my god they were so far i don't even want to talk about the things i've seen like i'm genuinely scarred the next thing i'm going to talk about is the food so the food at boardmasters there was so much choice i wasn't expecting there to be so much choice from so oh my god i didn't even i didn't even mention this this is my first festival this is literally the first festival i've ever been to i never went i never did reading at like gcse summer this was my first one and i was expecting not great food i was expecting like burgers hot dogs that sort of thing just like a bit crap just to fill a hole basically but when i tell you this board masters showed up and showed out there were so many options like i can't even explain there were gyozas there were donuts there were um you could get paneer you could get like pakistani food you could get we had duck wraps one day. We had, there were burgers. Like, don't get me wrong, there were tons of burger stands. You could get chicken strips. Oh, and one thing is they had like quite, because, so Boardmasters is a bit funny in the way that it's kind of got something for everyone. Now I say this like tentatively because I haven't been to other festivals, but from what I've heard of other festivals, this was very, very much like a well-rounded one. There were areas for different interests, if you know what I mean. Like you didn't have to be kind of smashed off your face in the DMB tent at all times, right? There was a whole vegan area, like a namaste, like you are at one with the earth area. Um, and they had like really like clean food, which again, I wasn't expecting. I was expecting everything to be like fried and just so gross. And I was hoping, to, I was expecting to come back feeling like I needed a salad, but actually I came back and I was like, I don't care what I eat because I've been eating well the past five days. It was very well, well rounded in that re respect. And also it was by the sea. Like we were sitting there at a festival and the sea was just in the background and it was just beautiful. Like the, the scenes were, stunning like stunning yeah it just added to the whole experience um i think the food the th okay so the thing is the food was expensive probably averaged out about maybe 10 pounds per meal which isn't great but if you factor that into your cost um your like budget at the beginning it's about two meals a day if you don't spend on breakfasts if you get stuff from the supermarkets before and just bring it there then you can cut costs in that way and just sort of spend maybe 20 quid a day on food uh, which again is expensive but in the context of the festival and there is basically no other option it's pretty good and there were cheaper things like there were kind of like bangers and mash stalls which were kind of less expensive um and sort of fish and chips that sort of thing and there were cheaper options but if you wanted to have like the variety of food um all the delicious stalls then you would be spending roughly 10 quid per meal now that sort of leads me on to value for money now i would actually argue that this festival so first of all it's five days so i think the tickets were roughly 200 200 pounds from for five day ticket now that is a lot of money i'm not gonna play it off um you then have to factor in cost of trains transport whatever mode of transport you're gonna get um my friends flew in from manchester so you do need to factor in all of these things when you're kind of buying the ticket and trying to decide whether you want to go because at, like your kind of first off payment when you buy the tickets in say April is only, well, only 200 quid. 
but then you need to factor in the fact you're gonna need to get there first of all you're also gonna need to buy food drinks like all of this stuff and it does add up but again if you factor it all in you can sort of have and, it, and to be fair i would say that it's a it's a five-day holiday so you're gonna have to expect to spend a decent amount every day and i think what we kind of decided amongst us was spending around 50 quid a day was kind of realistic and that's pretty much what we stuck to uh, give or take a few days and some days we went under some days we went over but you know if you bring the majority of your stuff if you kind of do an asda shop because there is an asda right by the station and you can kind of get all of your little bits there then you are absolutely fine and you will be kind of st sticking to your budget but the main thing is just know what you're spending and i think one of the biggest things i did that really helped was keeping a notes app a note of uh, all of the things that i bought and then at the end well, if i owed people money if people owed me money we could just sort it out and everyone knew what was going on with that so personally because it was there was so much to do there were like fun fair rides there was a huge huge arena um so many different tents so many different acts i would say value for money was pretty good um, and the whole point of a festival is the act, isn't it? You're going there to see people, um, see bands, see your favourite singers and DJs. And let me tell you, now I'm going to move on to the acts part because it was amazing. Um, I've probably mentioned this before, but I don't really listen to English music. But now I will. Like, I found that after seeing people live, it does just make me want to listen to them again. And I've discovered so many new artists just from going there. And I'm very, very grateful for that because it was just a really, really good time. And I love seeing people who are so talented just up there, just having a really good time. I will say though, the acts were brilliant, but the crowd, these people were moshing to Pharrell Williams. Now, there were a couple of nights where there was a silent disco and that was kind of on the main stage area. So everyone's there basically with their headphones on and it's kind of a weird atmosphere, but it's really, really fun. However, when Pharrell Williams, when Happy by Pharrell Williams comes on in my ear and I see people opening up a mosh pit, I, I did want to die at that point. Like, why? Why are we, why are we moshing just for our Williams? I, I, I genuinely just want to know why. I can't, I can't wrap my head around it. Someone tell me why. Um, yeah, that was a bit weird. But apart from that, the acts were phenomenal. Lil Kana has my heart forever. Olivia Dean is probably one of my new favorites. And of course, Georgia Smith was headlining on Sunday and she was absolutely pff, unreal. Okay, so I think that concludes my Boardmasters 2021 roundup. Um, I think it's an overall very positive experience. I'm, I feel like the festival blues haven't set in yet. I'm definitely missing it, but I'm kind of glad that it's over because my bed, I'm not going to do it again, but I'm, I value my bed and my clean toilet. Oh, and a shower. Oh my God. You could pay four quid for a shower there. Sorry, that's just a drop in there four quid for a shower and it's worth it just do it just just go shower at one point two points whatever just go shower yeah i think that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching this video um i hope you enjoyed it and i'm gonna go and cry that i'm not there anymore oh and like comment and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future